Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES and today we're gonna finish up what we started last time. It's still it's still weird for me doing these two at a time but it's so much easier so much faster doing it this way. On the plus side if I actually make this a habit we will be having quite a few uh, what's the word longer sessions. I want to go to Iwatodai because we're gonna finish that social link now, before summer break ends and I get to uh, just ignore these social links, which I shouldn't be doing in the first place, but I am. Which, by the way, I need to check on Sunday to make sure that's that one thing I got last time, the blood red pin. What in the heck that is? I did not look that up between things. I could have swore this said... Oh, so I didn't actually see that. I just cherry-picked what I thought I saw. Well, that sucks. That sucks so hard. That will not help us prepare. Oh, I guess ever the spoil sport. As much as I would like to agree with Junpei here, I kind of doubt his facts. But that's not relevant. Let's see, it's Thursday. It was Wednesday and Saturday, wasn't it? Wednesday and Saturday, right. I remembered. Before I come back for Koromaru, because no one really loves him, I'm gonna check see if anybody's available at the mall. If they're not, I'll come back for Koromaru. If they are, well then, he's not going walking tonight. I know, I know. A lot of people are like, dude, we get it. You hate dogs. It's not the fact that I hate dogs, I just... I don't know, man, they just always bite. Even the quote friendliest dog always bites me. I think it's because they innately know that I'm a cat person and cats love me. And they're just like, that's the enemy. Right there. Go for him. Go for the hands. Bite his hands off. I don't know, man. Cats treat me like they're messiah, though. They will come up to me, snuggle. Dogs. Uh-uh. So yes, I'm a cat person. I identify myself as a cat. I'm not a crazy cat person. Just a cat person. <laughs> There's a distinct difference between the two of them. One hoards them like a crazy cat person. The other one just has them. Study, study, study. At least I'm pretty sure we have until November to get that that knowledge to six. If not, well, still, I'm trying my best here. This should hopefully go to five sometime soon. Of course, it won't, but it should be. It should be soon. I mean, I'm studying every chance I get. Well, not every. I've I've slacked off maybe ten nights out of the whole let's play, maybe that I should have been studying. So I guess that catches up to you after a while. I might have already been five if I hadn't slacked off those ten times. And let me guess, this is from who? Oh. Sports movie marathon. What did the sports movie? Sports movie gave you courage, didn't it? Yeah, I would like to go with Yuko, but that's not really gonna help me whatsoever. Not really gonna help. I mean, we'll be hanging out with Yuko very often soon enough, but I don't really feel like doing that today. I'm gonna go on the MMO today. Because this is really the time you should be prioritizing for it. Because normally if you don't, you only have it every Sunday. So we're going to be trying to level up as much as I can here. I've already slacked off doing the other ones that aren't part of school, like the whole, not like the whole person up at the shrine, but... Do people really just walk around chatting to themselves in MMOs? Like, if I'm just thinking to myself, I don't just type it in slash say, which I think is what she's doing. Or maybe she's just talking to herself knowing that I'm there. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Wish I had a little bit more... I was gonna say, are you talking to yourself? She has about the same observancy score as I do in real life, I see. That doesn't seem to be the right thing to say. 
if you gathered that already, because I didn't get any stars for it. I just kind of embarrassed her. Okay, then. Maybe you should take a seat over here. Or, uh, alternatively, depending on your point of view of the subject. Nice. 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 But since it's a female teacher, and it's pretty much established that Maya is a female, though I would never recommend you believe that in real life just because they have a female avatar, I'm going to tell you Maya is a female. So, yeah, female teacher likes boy student. What's your stance on that one? Nice or, oh my god! What's he like, pray tell? Who, who do you even like? Hmm. I don't know, I'm not a teacher. I would assume that's bad lusting after your own student. I'm pretty sure that goes against very a lot of ethical bo you know, guidelines, but... I don't even know how to weigh in on this one without appearing offensive one way or the other, so I'm, I guess I'll just keep... I, I don't even want to be a part of this. Well, we know next to nothing about Maya, except now we know that she doesn't like her boss, she likes a student, and if those two things are anything to go on, her personal life is a little lacking. But that's just a correlation, might not, ev might not even be factual. It's just something that you would think, given those two variables. That apparently she's a little lonely. I mean, she's playing an MMO and chatting, which, don't get me wrong, does not mean someone's lonely just because they play an MMO, but... You know, all three things together start forming a little bit of a picture, is all I'm saying. What? What did you just say? No, 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 that was a bomb you just dropped. Okay, no, that's... that's okay. Well, by God, our teacher's in love with us. Now we just have to hope it's one of the hot ones. Not the... Not the man. Not Mystery Coda. Not that guy that rambles on about witchcraft. We gotta hope it's not one of them. Or maybe you wanna hope it's one of them if you're... If you're of that persuasion. I'm not, however. I like older women, but I don't know if I would like to go for the 30-year-olds when I was 16. I go for the 30-year-olds now because they're my age, but... Oh god, I feel old now. War movie has to be Courage. There's no way- What the hell was the other one then? Well, regardless, I'm not going. Cause I had more important things to do today. Like... Play a game. Because we have our pro- No, we're not gonna do that today. Well, crap, what's our- What's our hermit social link looking like? I should know that, I just ranked it up. Hermit is sitting at an 8. Not bad. Excuse me, not bad. Let's get out of our room. I mean, we have been cooped up in our room non-stop for like two days straight. Let's go actually make an appearance and not just have pull Robin Williams come out of our, you know, dorm with a beard yelling, What year is it? I'd rather not get that bad in a virtual game, in a virtual game. It's like Inception, the virtual games. Don't want our main character to become an addict, MMO addict inside of an RPG. Or something. I'm getting confused now. Just because an idea is overly complicated doesn't make it cool or fun. Never really liked the movie Inception. It's a fun movie in theory, but it just seems like so overly complicated just to be complicated. I'm of South Park's persuasion on that one. Just because something's overly complicated doesn't mean it's good. It can be good, but it doesn't it doesn't automatically mean it is. Well for Christ's sake. You people are the fussiest old folks to finish up a social link with I have ever saw. Okay. Next time for sure. Next time for sure. This is all my fault. I should have had a higher fan social link a long time ago, but... For some reason, I just did not make that a priority this run. They do have a good point. Next time, we will probably be going into Tartarus just to start training again, our monthly training. You know the drill by now. 
It's Saturday, so we have to go to the mall. Wednesday and Saturday, I'm, start, I'm starting to remember these little dates. Wednesday and Saturday are arcade. I don't need to have that on my paper anymore. But I'm going to keep the paper right here in case I forget. At least I'm starting over. It's only been 60 episodes. Uh, finally, I'm starting to remember something. It's a, it's a miracle, I know. Oh, so I'm sorry about that. Come on, five. Oh, God. I'm going to almost jump for joy when I actually finally get to Knowledge 5. Seems like it's been forever since the last Knowledge rank up. Of course, every time it, I, it ranks up, it seems like that. Okay, it's been... Has it already been 11 minutes? What the hell? Time just flies by when you're rambling to yourself and trying to talk to someone halfway across the world, possibly. Seriously, I probably talk to you more than I do anybody else. I know. Some people might consider that sad. I just consider that. I don't know. It's not like I'm mute to everybody. Don't get the wrong impression here, but... You know, when you talk for an hour straight to somebody who you have no idea where they are, you just kind of start questioning your life decisions. But I find this fun, so I don't question it too hard. And hopefully I'm entertaining somebody out there with my ramblings, nonsensical ramblings. Oh crap, I'm tired, I didn't even read that, but at least I read it there. Is summer vacation over tomorrow? Or is that just my American way of thinking that it's Sunday, therefore it's Monday suck? I guess we'll see... Tear jerker, I'm sorry hun. you you're already my girlfriend, I don't need to raise your social link anymore. Even if I did, I'm not going to the movies. Okay, so we are going to go finish up the one social link just to have it done. It's guaranteed to be done this time. There's no more of this. It should rank up. It will. Unless the game gives me the big middle finger. It says, we're sorry, we said you'd rank up. But we're not going to let you rank up. Which has yet to ever happen. So I don't think it will. It'd be a good laugh for you out there. Just for the game to... You know, slap me back in my place, but I don't look for that to happen. I've had games do that to me on camera before, where I just am thrown for a loop just because of something that makes no sense, and I just kind of got to deal with it. Kind of like that, really. <laughs> Why do I never look at the dates? Why? You fool, don't you ever learn? The answer is no. No, I do not. Totally would have just sat in my room if it was up to me this time, though. Do you want this pen? Because I don't know if this is even yours. Oh, so it was. So, apparently all I have to do is talk to Koromaru. So, hopefully you know that for your game and do that for, as soon as he shows up. Because I've already waited far too long for this social link, but we'll at least see some of it. And you know stuff's bad when that music is the one that starts off with. You can already tell this is going to be a really, really sunshiny social link. But it but is by no means obsolete. We all have to face this conundrum at some point in our lives, and I guarantee we will, unless science comes up with a very huge medical breakthrough, which I don't look for them to do in the next hundred years. So I'm gonna die, you're gonna die, everybody's gonna die. Oh yes. Yes I can. I've, I've faced down death already at the age of eight years old. I think I can, yeah. No, actually I do. I thought I was dead at eight. Just because you want to be an ass about it. You can go ahead and do that, but... Call me selfish all you want. I've been called it before. Granted, mine wasn't a genetic disease without a cure, but... I know. I'm not very good with situations like this.
Of course, this guy kind of pisses me off just because of his, oh, I, oh god, I'm sick, I'm dying, feel bad for me, but that's not what he's really saying. It just comes across that way from, to me. I've known people that are dying all my life. You're not any more special than any other person next to you. Kamiki, sorry about that. It just pisses me off when people say, you have no idea what I'm going through. I'm like, yes, I do. If you want to be a dick about it, I can explain in great detail exactly what you're going through. Except this one, he does have a small point. I've never been terminally ill. He does have a point there. But to say that I don't know what it's like when someone's dying. Now that's a, that's a social faux pas on him. Oh, but... Yeah. It's, a, it's not a happy social link. And I wouldn't have it any other way, because this is one of the serious issues in 3 that I actually really like. They don't just go, oh, we'll never die. No, they kind of smack you over the head, yeah, we're all going to die. Oh, I have no trouble giving you that. I don't want to come back here either after what we just had. So... And before somebody says it, no, I'm not really mad at the man. I just really hate when people say I don't know what I'm talking about. When I do. Just because I survived my bout with death doesn't mean that I don't know what it's like to know what I'm dying. I believe it's customary. I don't think it's just because it's hot. I think if you go something like, because it's hot, she usually says something like, it's always hot during these months, why are we not off half the year then, or something? But if you just go, it's customary, she understands, it's only been 17 minutes, so we're not cutting yet. It's Sunday, which means the monks should be in the nightclub. I think. Why am I going right again? Habit, habit, man. Of course, like I mentioned before, I didn't have anything near as bad as, you know, a terminal disease. All I had was, all I had was literally appendicitis, really. Of course, at the time, I had no idea what was going on. The doctors had no idea, and in no uncertain words told me if that one surgery didn't fix it, I was going to die. <laughs> That's not a fun situation, but now we're getting back into a fun one. Let's depress ourselves some more with another misanthrope. That seems to be like all we're talking to nowadays is misanthropes. They don't really make for happy-go-lucky commentary most of the time. Of course, it doesn't really matter when they don't say anything anyway. Oh, well, let's see. You don't seem to be feeling well. Should just sleep earlier. This would be one of those nights I shouldn't be doing this. I should have went to the bathroom. Crap. I should have done that. That's another min-max thing wasted down the drain. But in answer to my question, apparently no, not Monday is when school starts. Should have just looked it up and not had to worry about it. I think this is the, yeah, this is the one where you want to go see if you and your dorm mates want to go. And if this is your first time through the game and you still have trouble with your attributes, this is a great thing to go on because they always give you attributes. Damn it, I'm tired of your nagging. I'm sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. Well, the answer is still the same. I'm not coming back. You know, another new Persona user joined us. And he's not human. What? It's a dog. He lost his master six months ago because of the shadows. He's incredibly loyal. Up till now, he's been guarding the spot where his master was killed, despite the bad memories. We saw someone die right before our eyes, too. But it's been two years since then. How long do you plan to beat yourself up over it? You're always at that spot behind the station, even though you don't hang out with the crowd there. It doesn't matter. It was my fault, and it can't be erased. What difference does it make if I come to terms with it? It won't change anything. This isn't the same as what happened to Miki. Shinji. That's enough already. I just want to forget it ever happened. Two years ago. <gasps> Can't be. 
So, his name is Shinji, huh? So something's not quite right there. Something happened two years ago between those two. Question is, what exactly happened? And is Miki a part of it? Could well be, it's Monday. I'm gonna finish what I started, and I'm gonna do that social link that I claim that I was gonna get done today, so I'll do it. Which means off to the bookstore we go, because I have nothing better to do. And then finish this. Or possibly go on my MMO because I don't really care about anybody going to the movie festival. Could have swore one of the movies was a knowledge up, but I don't have the thing in front of me to tell me that, so we're just gonna say screw it. And it should be said, on your first time through Persona 3 FPS, I do not recommend you look up a guide. You can, but I recommend the first time through just do it on your own. Or just watch this, because this is surely not a real great guide. It just is what it is. What an oddly specific dream. Good, because I wasn't planning on waking you up. The better question is, how is he able to sleep while standing up? You know how much money I would pay for the secret to learn how to sleep while standing up? I can hardly sleep while laying down. Horrific insomnia, man. Stop, stop waving that sleeping thing right in front of me. Why are you relieved? Aren't they chopping the tree down? I mean, that's kind of what this whole thing's been about, isn't it? So you just invalidated my whole work of everything up to this point. Yeah, you're welcome, by the way. Thanks for that. I'm, I, you know what? I don't even care anymore. I, I guess he can't be helped. I mean, most people would have been annoyed if they did all this work to save the thing and then the person just didn't and cut it down anyway, but at this point, I'm not really invested. <laughs> If you don't even care, why the hell should I care? Is my outlook on the matter. Then again, I'm a pretty easygoing guy, so... That probably factors into it as well. Uh... I guess I should look at him. He's the one talking to me, isn't he? It's rude to just look at somebody else. I'm not touching that one with a 10-foot pole. And I'd recommend nobody else do either. By the way, what the hell is a persimmon tree anyway? I probably should look that up. I've never looked up what a persimmon tree is. I've never... I think it's a fruit, isn't it? Oh, well, there you go. I guess it's a fruit. I've never had a persimmon before. I don't even know if it's a factual thing or they just made up the word. It's probably a real food. I just don't know what it is. I feel ignorant. As is tradition. As is tradition. Okay, so we never have to go in this place again. Ever. Because we've already done Chihiro Social Link. So no, we never really have to come into this place ever again. Which I know you all are very disappointed about. We love the background. We love looking all those books stacked around. I can hear it now. I'm sorry. We gotta, we gotta say goodbye at some point in our playtime. I knew Bunkichi is a radio, a freaking beacon of light in this dark world, but even his great jokes can't save us from the monotony of going to school. And I have no idea what the hell Mitsuko's on. All I know is she's a nice lady. And that's gonna be it. I think. Yeah, it's been 25 minutes or so, so that should probably be it for our day today as well. Sup, dude? Uh, I would recommend working. How are you? And you wonder why I call you a pig, sir. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be saving and calling it a day today, so... 
Let me do this real quick, and we will get on to the epilogue, which I don't even know what epilogue is, which is basically just me doing my regular. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone, until next time.